Hey everybody, my name is Seth, and today we're going to be talking about Ray and specifically their cloud app and cloud portal. And we're going to be talking about some of their key features related to CCTV, such as their line and cable testing, loop prevention, and individual port configuration on switches, access points, and routers. So let's go ahead and hop into the phone app. Now that we're on the phone app, we're going to check out some port configuration when it comes to switches and some of the additional configurations you have for the gateway. Let's first start off with the switch by clicking on the topology and clicking on the switch you want to configure. Now, if there's multiple switches on the network around the same topology, they're going to be in a device list like this. You can select the device you want to go ahead and configure. And then you'll get an option at the top where you can go ahead and rename the device if you wanted to, for example. And the change has succeeded. And we can go ahead and go below that, see the model number, the IP address, the MAC address, serial number, you know, any firmware versions it has. Below that, we do get access to quickly get on the uh, web interface with this device. We can also reboot this device very easily from the app or even remove it as well. Then below that, we have an option for either monitoring or configuring the device. For now, we're gonna stay on the monitoring section and go down to where it says the individual ports and you get an interface of what the device actually looks like and what ports are actually being used. So what you can do very easily is by selecting on a port. For example, I'm gonna select port two and we're gonna get some information about it. At the top here is where you can go ahead and rename the individual port if you wanted to. And below that, we can go ahead and see some other the statuses with this if there is a device connected to it. We can also set up some port configuration by going at the bottom and selecting edit, disabling the admin status, adjusting the data transmission and speed, and going ahead and changing the port VLAN to either access or trunk. It's up to you on which one you want to set this port to. And at the bottom here, you even have an option to do a cable test. By selecting cable test, it's going to go ahead and test the cable. And lets me know that the cables are in a good condition, so I have nothing to worry about. Below that, you can also get some quick monitoring things to just view what the speeds and the type of port that you're using on this device. But jumping over to the configuration menu, we're going to get a ton of options for VLAN settings, cable test, which is what we just did, aggregated interface to set up a connected device, to go ahead and also enable loop prevention. You can either go ahead and set up static routing or do some routing information, or for example, set up a port rate limit by going and selecting an individual port and selecting the inbound rate limit and the outbound rate limit. These are gonna be in kilobytes, so we're gonna go ahead and select, let's just say 100,000. And we're gonna hit save at the bottom. And the configuration is successful. We can do even things like ACL, IP source guard, storm control, port protection, and IP and MAC binding. Now backing out to the main screen, we can go ahead and click on the gateway now inside of that topology. And we're going to get a similar menu where we have that information at the top where we can rename the device and get some key information regarding the device, such as the model number, IP address, and MAC address. At the bottom, we get the web interface, a reboot icon, and for the device to be removed off the network. And you get a nice interface of what the ports look like. And you do get some configuration options as well by selecting configuration where you can set up a routing table, IP and MAC binding, ACL, monitor, and policy-based routing as well. All these are very easily accessed through the phone app, making it a very easy to use device. Another thing you have as well is at the top right corner on any device, you can go ahead and select the log and get a view of any types of uh, you know, actions that happened on the device anything that was logged. Now this works for switches as well and any, any other device that you're configuring. Now we're in the cloud portal and we're gonna talk about some additional configuration options that you have on the cloud portal. So what you're gonna do is on the left-hand side, there's a configuration option and you're gonna go under where it says devices. Now this is where we go ahead and view the interface of gateways or switches. Let's first start off with switches here. And we're gonna get the ports and the switches pulled up that we are wanting to view. We can select which switch we specifically want to view. This time we'll take a look at this one. 
We have a nice interface for this device, but we can select individually on a port. For example, I'm going to select port 4. And it's going to go ahead and give me some information here in which I can go ahead and configure, such as the status of the port. I can enable it or even disable this individual port. The duplex, the speed, the description, if you want to have any details about it. If it's PoE capable, if you want to disable this port for providing power, you can do that here as well. And you can set the port type from axis to trunk and even a VLAN ID. Another cool thing with configuring on the actual cloud portal here is you can do batch configuration, which basically means if you drag over multiple different ports, for example, port one through 12, I can actually configure all these ports at a given time. Or let's say, for example, I didn't want to configure port 11 in this group, I just deselect it and I can configure port one through 10 and port 12 all on the same configuration. And I can keep adjusting these to configure them in a batch to make it the most convenient for me. Making time for installing pretty simple. Or like I said, you can select an individual port as well. Now to go ahead and do some configuration on the gateway, we just go down to devices. Then we're gonna go up to the gateway interface and we're gonna be able to view the interface of the gateway as well. We can change the interface type from access to trunk and we can of course click in between these multiple different ports as well. Now for all the other types of configuration that we just kind of went through on the phone app, you do have that available here. For the gateway, you can do things like routing, NAT, VPN, portal authentication, dynamic DNS, and a bunch of different options. For switches, the same thing. VLAN, routing, loop prevention, DHCP snooping, voice VLAN, interface rate limit. You have a ton of options. Let's go ahead and take a look at loop prevention now, which you're gonna to wanna to go ahead, select here, and make sure you enable loop prevention. Now, another way to go ahead and configure and view some more options for the devices on the network is to go under the devices menu under the network menu on the left hand side select the individual serial number of a device you want to view then you'll get a bunch of options that pop up such as monitoring configuration and even diagnostics and we'll first go through monitoring you do get some options when you scroll down to view the device see the interface rate as well by clicking on an individual port, you can see the rate. Detailed entries as well, or even a log history. Now you can go to the configuration menu and view the interface of the device and clicking on an individual port, get the same options that we've seen before. You can also set up VLAN, routing, DHCP snooping, loop prevention here as well if you have it enabled. At the bottom here, you do get some quick images and icons to get a quick view of the device's status in regards to loop prevention. And you can keep scrolling through the menu, get configuration backup, ACL, storm control, IP source guard, and a bunch more. And under diagnostics, you can do things such as cable test by selecting the port or a group of ports by doing a batch select or just individually selecting them and then selecting Diagnose. And you can do a ping detect as well by simply entering an IP address. And you do have all these options very easily accessed through the web interface in the cloud portal.